See, a very tragic incident happened a couple of weeks ago in Buffalo, New York. Now, a couple of uh, black people were killed by a white supremacist, Nazi demon dude. We as black people are basically sitting ducks. We're basically sitting ducks, especially in a state like New York, where you're not allowed to have a firearm to protect yourself. You're basically just sitting ducks. You better move. You better take yourself out of there. Overpriced, over expensive, a shite hole. Well, I'm digressing. You see, as black people, we are the only community I know that are occupied mainly by single women. You hear this woman complaining every day that they don't have protection. The black men are not protecting them anymore. Well, one, you have to be someone worth protecting. And two, you have this boss chick, bad bitch mentality. So men don't want to deal with that. But all that, in the grand scheme of things, don't doesn't really matter. Because right now, your country has caused too much havoc around the world. And when the chicken comes home to roost uh, uh, eventually, who's going to protect you? We can't be a community of individuals. I understand you're a strong, independent woman. You don't need no man, blah, 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 blah. Those are first world problems. There is no feminist in the war zone. There is no, oh, um, uh, a protected group, LGBT, no, 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 not, not in the war zone. Not, not when shit hits the fan. You're going to need protection. When shit hits the fan during time of crisis, man and woman revert back to their natural roles. Whether you like it or not. You're going to see the, the softest guy you think is like the weakest beta male simpish guy you, you, you think he is. During the war zone, when time for survival comes, that guy is going to be the most brutal man you've ever seen. Because he has to protect his. But black woman, who's going to protect you? This whole gender war nonsense we have going on in our community with our women just acting crazy. That doesn't really matter because what's what's coming? <laughs> what is coming? You have no idea. The evil your government has done overseas and all these countries they've destroyed in the Middle East and funding terrorists and all that stuff. When everything goes tits up man black people we are not ready for this we are not we are not ready for this at all your government is funding ukrainian nazis i know i know i know i know the news msnbc and cnn and all these retards have brainwashed you to support these people. I stand with Ukraine. Wear the blue and yellow. Whatever flag. And march for Ukraine. Because whatever the mainstream media tells you to march for. Is where you're going to march for. And I see in New York a couple of weeks ago. A couple of months ago now. There's some bunch of lefties marching. And chanting Azov. 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 A-Z-O-V. Which is the Azov Battalion. Which is like a regiment of the Ukrainian army. Basically, a Nazi regiment. Oh, they say, no, they're, par they're paramilitary uh, vigilante people or whatever. They have nothing to do with the uh, army horse crap. The Azov Battalion in Ukraine have their hands everywhere. They, they, the President Zelensky can't even tell them what to do. And the President Zelensky was placed there by the American government. They put a puppet government there that they can manipulate. Because the war that's going on there right now, just an American, it's, it's basically an American proxy war against Russia. They're using Ukraine as cannon father against Russia, thinking they can weaken Russia that way. But it's not working at all. And you have this Azov battalion, this Nazi regiment that America is funding, just like they funded the Taliban and the ISIS in the Middle East. They're literally funding Nazis. So when Nancy Pelosi and all these people go and kneel during George Floyd's uh, incident and they're all wearing the African regalia and they're just virtue signaling. They don't care about... <laughs> they don't care about you. They do not care about black people. They don't even care about white people. They don't care about... Come on now. 
They don't care. That's what CNN is there for, to play the left side, to play, you know, uh, race baiting on the left. And then you've got Fox News on the right, race baiting on the right, causing tribalism to divide people. And they've, they've sent like 60, over $60 billion to Ukraine to help them fight Russia. They've literally funded Nazis over. I'm not talking about uh, KKK members or the skinhead whack jobs, hillbillies living in the mountain. No, 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 no. I'm talking about like real Nazis, man, with Nazi symbols and everything tattooed on them. Literally have Hitler tattooed on their skin. They've got the Totenkopf tattooed on them. They've got the, the SS symbol. There was a, a regiment, a part of the Nazi army that was led by uh, Heinrich Himmler tattooed on them. Man, and by so doing, your government has emboldened white supremacists in your country to carry out crazy acts like this, go around killing people of color. It's going to get worse. This is going to get worse. This is just the beginning. The school shooting that happened a couple of days ago, it is going to get worse. America has a drug problem. But they're not going to talk about, oh, let's try and uh, curb this whole drug issues because the, the main drug dealers are your government. They're in bed with Big Pharma. And those are the people that decide who's going to be a, the president, who's going to rule over you. You're sitting there twerking on doing your nonsense, boring about YSL and Young, young Thog and Gunna and all this shite and YFN Lucci and all this. You're just being distracted and why you have no idea what's coming. These people are prepping. They're no joke, man. They are prepping for this for this stuff. They're coming for your ass. And you have no idea. You're busy fighting with your man. When your man should be your first line of defense. But your government has convinced you that they are your man now, literally. The government is like your husband now, because they give you little pennies and you kick the man away, kick the man out the house. But when the chickens come home to roost, the government's not gonna be there to help you. Your man should be your first form of defense, your first line of defense. But you don't, black women, black people don't have that, especially black women. We're a community of majority single women walking around like rampant, like headless chickens, with no direction. We're sitting ducks. <laughs> you're behind enemy lines, you're so comfortable, you think it's gonna be all sunshine and lollipops forever. It's mad. It's so, so, so sad. We are all we've got, black people. We are all we've got. If you think Jesus is coming to save you, nigga, <laughs> come on. Like, come on now. Come on, be real. No one is coming to save us. We have to save ourselves. Put the whole gender war bullshit, the whole crap of uh, left, right. No, 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 no. That Don't subscribe to that left, right dichotomy. It's just us. It's just us. We, we only have us. No one's coming to save us. Because if shit hits the fan, the white woman is going to cling to to, to her white man for protection. The Hispanic woman is going to cling to the, the Hispa her Hispanic man for protection. Who are you going to cling to, black woman? A society based off of, of individualism. Come on now. Who are you going to go to? Who's going to protect you? The sooner you realize that we're all we've got, and no one is going to protect you except us, you need to get your head out of your ass and start like trying to fi figure a way to work shit out with your black man because this is coming. He who have ears, let them hear. Please listen, people. Listen.